Well, hello. Today I'd like to give you my first impressions of the Bennu Talisman, a pen I never really expected to ever own. And just ignore my messy couch. Uh, this is a busy time of year, and you are just lucky you're getting a video today. <laughs> so, let's talk about the Bennu Talisman. All right, so this is the Bennu Talisman. This is the case it comes in. And mine is in the foxgloves finish. Foxgloves, as I remember them, are kind of a delicate purple flower. We'll find out what's inside. So, you know, cardboard sleeve, not too ostentatious. Inside, whoops, we've got a cartridge, some stuff. We'll set the cartridge over here. Oh, cartridge looks like it's a two-ended cartridge. Whatever that's worth. Um, some stuff. Actually, a nice... Oh, well, that's interesting. A whole thing about foxgloves. And yeah, that's that's the flower I'm thinking of. So I'll have to read that. Maybe in the comments at the end I will talk about why it's the color it is. And then I've got a whole bunch about care of the pen. <clears throat> also inside the box... Uh, it's a pen. So I'm having the same reaction to this pen as most reviewers have had. The, ooh, that's sparkly. A little chatoyancy, but sparkly. On the pen, I guess because uh, it's so ostentatious with the sparkles, the branding is very minimal. We just have Bennu right there. A very minimal clip. Open it up. And you might see why I finally was tempted by a Bennu pen. Most of them have a really steep drop off here. This one does not. It's very hard to tell against my black background, so we use my hand. Uh, mine has a double broad nib. Bach nib. Open it up. And it comes with a converter. A not Bach nib, sorry. Uh, I want to say a Schmidt nib because this is a Schmidt converter. Let me find my glasses because I can't read anything. Yeah, Schmidt converter. So I'm sure that's a Schmidt nib. Yep, Schmidt. If I remember it being a double broad. Unless that's a single B. Okay, it's a just a broad. Wow. So, confession time. I bought this pen over the summer and I kind of forgot all the details about it. So, nice uh, Armenian pen because they are no longer made in Russia. So we'll give it a nice American ink. Made in France. So, Parker Quink Washable Blue. Did pretty well on the first fill, but we'll do it again. Did even better on the second fill. We'll go one more. Oh, ah, yeah. not perfect, but not bad at all. So we got a nice fill on it. So after my initial confusion, that is definitely a broad nib. The ink in it, of course, is Parker Quink. Washable blue. <laughs> the, as far as flex, there is a little line variation. And I don't really want to push this nib because it's not a flex nib. But there's line variation there. It's pleasant. I've enjoyed other Schmidt nibs I've used. Wetness and flow. That seems pretty wet to me. Smear test. Yeah, that's wet. And of course, reverse writing. A 
little scratchy extra fine. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. Press lightly. One skip that I think was my fault right there, and this one I'm not sure if this was my fault or not, but on the whole I think it did very well. So I'm finding it comfortable to hold. My fingers are below the threads. I don't have an uncomfortable step up there. Um, stay tuned for my comments. Filmed a couple of weeks after I filmed the writing sample, after I've been through at least one tank of ink on this thing. So that was the Bennu Talisman. Um, they were once made in Russia. Now they are, I think, in Armenia. They, they moved out of Russia some time ago. Um, brand that I never, ever thought I would own. From the first time I saw them, I said, Oh, that is gaudy and... Uh, not my style at all. And I didn't like... They had a huge step up from the section to the barrel of the pen. So I just didn't like them. And uh, So Benu and I really never had anything to do with each other. And that was that. And then I saw this one. So it, it actually has, as you saw in the video, let's see if I can do this one-handed because we're filming this on the cell phone. No step up. It's actually very nice. And yes, it's sparkly and a little bit gaudy, but it's not over the top. So I, and it had the name Foxglove, so I weakened and bought one. I still can't na figure out the Foxglove thing. My mother grew Foxgloves. They are not this color. Foxes maybe are, but the Foxgloves, you know, the gloves that foxes wear, <laughs> flowers, <coughs> are, are not that color. So I don't know what's up with it. They had a whole informational thing about Foxgloves, and yet yeah, did not enlighten me why a pen called Foxglove is orange. But that's not the important thing. The important thing is I did find it attractive. Yes, it's got its sparkles, but not too many. And uh, I like it. It writes really nicely. It feels good in my hand. Would I use it as a daily writer? No. But I like it. So uh, how's it do with the pocket test? Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Uh, I will tell you it does decently well, but I might not easily be able to illustrate this because I don't have a pocket and I'm doing this one-handed. Okay, do I? Yes, I have the sweatshirt. The sweatshirt is old and worn out. It likes to roll over, so that's fun too. Here we go. Wee! <laughs> okay, you're just going to have to trust me. It passes the pocket test. Um, I find it attractive. This whole sparkles in the black and the nice orange that just works for me so glad i bought it the writing you know not whoa but it, it, good writing and uh just happy with it so why are we doing this in this setting instead of at my normal set because honestly i was gonna just not film tonight i was gonna do it tomorrow night uh, when i've got some free time and i just thought nope nope you're gonna do it but I wanted to go for minimal editing, so this is what you get. Minimal editing. Uh, even the uh, little picture, the thumbnail is going to be minimal editing. And yeah, messy couch because very busy time of year. It won't be busy later in the week when school lets out, but tonight it is. So, um, I'm glad I finally tried a Bennu pen. Um, it doesn't make me want to race out and buy a new one, um, or I'm sorry, another one, but uh, I'm glad I finally tried one. I've had no troubles with it writing, it hasn't had trouble drying out, it's just been a very nice pen. Kind of like how I like Birmingham pens, even though I'm not racing to buy another one of them. Uh, just a very nice, decently made pen. So, if you like your pens a little bit on the gaudy side, try out a Bennu pen, and uh, the talisman has a very nice shape. Which, again, is not something I would have said about earlier iterations of Bennu pens. So I hope that was interesting. Hope it was useful. And uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.